people like you and me We never give up, no We never give up For this vegetable gratin you're gonna need one head of cauliflower, one bell pepper, one tomato, some cheese, plain yogurt, garlic and oil. First of all, boil water in a large pot. And don't forget to add some salt. Now let's grate the cheese. I use mozzarella that contains around 20% fat. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now cook the cauliflower florets in boiling water for about 5 minutes. And while it's cooking, let's go back to our cheese. I added a pinch of salt, because you know mozzarella is not so salty, but you can skip this step. I also added some garlic powder and now we are gonna add about 7 tablespoons of low-fat plain yogurt and mix it well. Now put it aside. I check my cauliflower with a fork. It's tender but still firm, so I guess it's time to drain it. And now we are gonna chop the tomato, like so. and then the bell pepper. Chop it. I also chopped the cauliflower, but you can skip this step as well. Now grease your baking pan. I used only 2 grams of oil. I don't have a basting brush, that's why I just use my fingers. Ok, now let's put the layer of cauliflower. and then the layer of tomatoes and bell pepper. And the third layer is our cheese and yogurt mixture. Beautiful! Put your gratin into the oven and bake for about 20 minutes. It smells so good! And this is how it looks when it's ready. Ok, it's time to count. For this recipe I used 601 g of cauliflower, 245 g of bell pepper, 229 g of tomatoes, 173 grams of cheese, 248 grams of yogurt, mine was 2.5%, and 2 grams of oil. So here's the calories and nutrition info. It tastes better than pizza. 
I've already ate 276 grams of this gluten, which equals only 186 calories. I recommend you to try this recipe because you know it's just so good. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I hope you have a good day. Bye!